Hi, this is Astro Diver number one, and I just want to show you guys how to replace the keyboard on a Toshiba satellite model P775. Okay, so I have seen other videos out there on how to replace a keyboard with Toshiba's, um, but I haven't seen one on this particular model. They do vary. So, first thing we'll do, just for a safety reason, we'll pull out the battery. And there's actually no screws underneath there. And then, uh, first we're going to take out this screw right here. Set it aside. And the reason why I'm doing that, you see on the back of the keyboard, you got three places where these screws go. And you have to remove these three screws. The one I just took out goes into that spot there. So next thing you want to do is take off this cover. This cover covers the RAM memory and it covers the uh, the hard drive, which also has to be removed. Now this you just pop right off like that. We'll set that over there. Now the second screw you're going to need to do that hold the keyboard, this guy right here, unscrew him, take that out. It helps to have a magnetic tip screwdriver, by the way. Now the tricky part here is this is the hard drive. We want to grab up on this metal tab, give it a yank down, and then the hard drive comes right out. And then this is our third keyboard screw right here. Take that guy out and set it aside. All right, now we're going to flip it over and pull out the keyboard itself. So next you just want to take a, a sharp knife, something thin, and just pry in this one corner here. And then just gently, and with those three screws out, the keyboard comes out really easily. And there we have it. Now this is a real tricky part right here. On these straps, you have to take out these two tabs. You have to pull them back. So this keyboard doesn't have the lit up keyboard function. So I'm gonna show you by practicing on these other two tabs here. So just kind of get to the edge there and pull it out. Same with the other side and pull it out. And that should get those straps out. All right, so just get to the edge out there. Pull that strap. Be careful, they can break. The other side here. And that should do it. So now you should be able to just pull that out just like that. the new keyboard okay this is the tricky part for me at least with my big fingers is this tab here needs to go into that slot or the strap so you just set it on top of the white piece get it between the two white blocks and boom it should slide right in make sure it slides all the way into the line and then just take your fingernail and push in those white tabs again There, it's all in. And we're gonna just carefully rotate the board over. Ha, I put it on backwards. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this again in the correct direction this time. Again, just find those white blocks and push it in. Lock that one tab and then lock carefully without cutting the ribbon the second tab. All right, we got it straight that time. Double check, kind of pull their fingernails and gently pull the keyboard over. Now, if you notice, you've got little tabs right here, plastic tabs. Um, start by putting those in first at the front of the board towards the mouse pad and then kind of push down and push in at the same time. There, everybody looks happy.
right now we just uh, put the screws on the back okay when we get the keyboard in itself we flip the computer back don't forget to put this screw back in before you put in your hard drive which is what I just did so for your benefit I will do it correctly Get that screw in. That feels pretty good about there. Now the hard drive, you want the aluminum spot up with the connectors going towards this white connector here and this black connector. Just lay it down flat, grab it with the corner of your nails, pull it in until it clicks. Push that piece of aluminum foil down there. Now we still have these two guys to put back in. This is metal to metal, so you don't have to worry about stripping out plastic. But I don't I try not to over tighten them. All right, so those are in. Mm -hmm. This guy here. Um, again, these tabs, you want those in first. Also push those down in, down to the corner, work your way towards the screw. And then finish by fastening your screw. All right, so then our battery. Click. Flip. And we're all set. I hope that helps. Have a good one, folks. So just as a quick update here, you probably noticed that I did put on the strap upside down, so I just want to make sure that didn't cause any harm. Uh, this is my wife's computer. She told me that she was having a problem with several of the keys, but I remember her saying the number five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And Q, W, one. Yep, seems to work just fine. All right, guys. Take care.